Thomas and the Spaceship. It was a foggy night on the island of Sodor. The engine's lamps burned brightly, and the fog swirled and twirled around their wheels as the engines headed home. All except for Percy. A valve had come loose in his cylinder. Percy had broken down. Thomas chuffed in. Hello, Percy, he tooted. Hello, Thomas, Percy peeped. Thank you for coming to help me. Thomas buffered up to Percy and they headed home towards Tidmouth Shets. The fog was thick. Thomas wanted to be quick. Suddenly, Percy peeped. Look, Thomas, there are bright flashing lights in the sky. Thomas couldn't see any lights. It must be a spaceship, peeped Percy. A spaceship, puffed Thomas. Are you sure? Sure as I'm a little green engine, whistled Percy. He was very excited, and that made Thomas excited too. Thomas and Percy arrived at Tidmouth Sheds. I've seen a spaceship, Percy whistled excitedly. Pa, snorted Gordon. What a silly little engine. Thomas didn't like Gordon calling Percy silly. The Fat Controller arrived. Thomas, tonight you must take Percy's mail trucks. Thomas was happy to do this. Now he could find Percy's spaceship. I'll show you that Percy isn't a silly little engine, Thomas tooted to Gordon. And he set off into the fog. Thomas chuffed to the top of Gordon's hill. He was looking for the spaceship. There, in the distance, he saw some flashing lights. Hooray, whistled Thomas. There's Percy's spaceship. And he wished down the hill. Thomas puffed closer and closer, but it wasn't a spaceship. It was a circle of workmen's lights. The workmen were fixing some broken track. Thomas was very disappointed. I must find Percy's spaceship, he whistled. So he chuffed on through the fog. Then Thomas saw another flashing light. Hooray, he chuffed. There's Percy's spaceship. Thomas puffed closer and closer. But it wasn't Percy's spaceship. It was the lamp in the lighthouse flashing on and off. Bother, puffed Thomas. But he still wanted to find Percy's spaceship. So he puffed on through the fog. Thomas was very tired, and it was very late. He had searched everywhere. How was he going to show Gordon that Percy had seen a spaceship? Then suddenly, he saw them. These flashing lights were moving in the sky. That must be Percy's spaceship, whistled Thomas. He was very excited. Thomas pumped his pistons and raced after the flashing lights. The spaceship was flying lower and lower in the sky. Suddenly, Thomas didn't feel tired anymore. Thomas's wheels clickety-clacked on the rails of the track to see Jeremy the plane coming in to land at the airport. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Jeremy the plane must be Percy's spaceship. Thomas felt very sad. 
he hadn't found a spaceship. Worst of all, he had let down his friend, Percy. Thomas puffed away. He was so tired, the mail trucks felt very heavy now. The fat controller will be cross, sighed Thomas. I've spent all night looking for Percy's spaceship. Thomas knew that now he couldn't deliver the mail trucks on time. He needed help. So he chuffed back to Tidmouth as fast as his aching axles would spin. When Thomas arrived at Tidmouth Sheds, Percy was still at the fitter's yard. How many spaceships did you find? coughed Gordon grandly. It wasn't a spaceship, puffed Thomas sadly. It was Jeremy the plane coming into land. Thomas felt very silly, but he still had to be really useful. Gordon, I need your help, he tooted. You are faster and stronger than any engine. If we share the trucks, the mail can still be delivered by breakfast. This made Gordon feel important, and Gordon liked feeling important. So Gordon took half the mail trucks. And Thomas took the others until all the mail was delivered by breakfast. The next night, there was no fog. Look, tooted Thomas, there's Jeremy the plane. He was very excited. All the engines watched Jeremy coming in to land at the airport. It was a magical sight. I think Jeremy's better than a spaceship any day, peeped Percy, and Thomas had to agree.